everyone my name is Jane welcome to my channel so today's video is another installment as my role as a contributor for the sewing directory they kindly give me or let me choose a pattern and some fabric each month and then obviously share it with you guys so today's vlog is going to be the sew over it ultimate trousers <laughs> everyone welcome back yeah so today's video is all about the sew over it ultimate trousers and I've never made anything by sew over it before and I just thought I'll try the trousers I've seen loads and loads of things made up by the sew over it pattern company over on Instagram and social media but I've never really been drawn to any of, of their patterns to be fair and the only one I've always liked been kind of interested in is the blouse with like the pussy bow that's the only one I've been tempted with but I haven't bought any of their patterns at all I've always been like a little bit on the fence with them so I thought great opportunity to try out one of their patterns so I picked the trousers I really like the style it remind me of 1950s vintage like cigarette style pant and I have got a pair of cigarette pants that I bought ready to wear that I bought oh, a few years ago and absolutely love them just love the silhouette it's just a clean straight classic look on a pair of trousers no fuss there's no waistband just a zip and the tapered leg uh, like seven eighths is it seven eighths leg length and I really love that I really love that style I love that look and I really do like those trousers so I just thought I could recreate another pair but obviously handmade using this pattern so I went for this and I chose this fabric I'm going to stand up and show you in a minute but I chose this green cotton sateen stretch fabric it's got 97% cotton 3% elastin and it's by the Modelo fabrics all the fabrics that I vlog about are in conjunction with Modelo fabrics and this is the Rio range and they've got 10 gorgeous shades to choose so I thought we'll give it a try and because it's got three the three percent stretch in it 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 has given these trousers that little bit extra give so when i i don't know why when i was odd when i was choosing the fabric i could have swore it said recommended fabric was something with a bit of stretch in it but there's no mention at all of fabric with any stretch in it so i don't know what i was thinking the fabric recommendations are woven cotton corduroy wool crepe denim so i don't know what i was looking at so but thankfully they've made up absolutely fine and now if you've made them before you'll understand what where i'm coming from what an easy pair of trousers to sew seriously i thought the um the getaway jeans were easy but these literally there's only four pieces obviously the two leg pieces and the front and back facing to go on the waist that's it seriously so i'll stand up and give you a quick quick show of you so you can see the actual colour of the fabric a bit more so like the green olive green it's called and it doesn't have it has a little bit of a sheen to it but there's not nothing shiny going on and obviously it's got the invisible zip I, I'm getting there with my invisible zip I'm not 100% brilliant yet I've still got a little bit of puckering going on down there so I need to work on that I, I'm all right putting one side on it's when you put the other side on us I, I think my problem is that it's going a little bit off skew with the other side of the zip so when I come to sew it's pulling it I'm not obviously not lying it flat so need to work on that but it's a lot better it's a lot better invisible zip than the last one I did on my brocade pants if you remember didn't even look invisible at all on them I don't know what I did wrong there but yeah so Obviously, there's no waistband, it's just a facing that's obviously just attached to the top and obviously folded inside and you just literally tack it a little bit to the zip tape just to keep it in place. There's no pockets, there's absolutely nothing and super, super simple. So they're a little bit big, maybe, well not big, a little bit loose, tiny bit loose on the waist but nothing, nothing I would say there's no fit issues at all. I know I've read 
I'll sit down. I know I've read a lot on social media about this this uh, pattern that there has been quite a few fit issues, but I think they fit me absolutely fine. Now saying that, obviously there's got 3% stretch in it. So I just chose size 12. I just went off my body measurement. I'm a 29 inch waist and say 39 and a half inch hip. So I just thought I'd fell straight into the size 12 recommended size on this pattern is 30 waist. So it's probably why they're a tiny little fraction a bit loose on the waist. But also because I've got chose this fabric, there's got that 3% elastane in it. So it gives it that little bit of extra stretch. So whether the size 12 would be more snug if I'd have gone for a non-stretch woven, that's another issue. But I'm definitely going to make these again. They're just, just, I just love them and stitched up like a dream. I just, I didn't do any modifications to them at all. Just took the hem up as per the pattern advised. And I just love, it's like a seven eighth length. I just love that length and I just love the silhouette and they're just so classic, simple, but really flattering. I think really, really flattering. And overall, I'm absolutely thrilled with them. I, I can't, there's nothing negative I can say about them at all. I'll show you the instructions. Obviously, you can make a pair of shorts as well if you want to, but that's something I would never do. I don't wear shorts unless I'm on holiday. I don't wear shorts. It's not something I would make as part of my wardrobe. Uh, but you've got the option there and all you need is an invisible zip, a little bit of interfacing. And I got mine, it says a one and a half metres, but I've read somewhere that somebody's actually squeezed a pair out of a metre. So obviously possible to get even out of less than one and a half metres. And just show you like the instructions, very simple instructions, quirky little illustrations. And well, you don't need an awful lot of instructions because there's, there's very few steps to do really. You overlock the edges, you sew the crotch, you sew the sides, you put one leg in the other leg and sew the other side up. Leave the side, the, obviously leave the opening on the left hand side, to insert, insert your visible zip. And then you just add that um, like waistband facing. Now some, I have seen somewhere, I think it's on Instagram, where she she's made these trousers and she added a waistband simply by cutting out the facings twice and then obviously creating it into a waistband she cut them a little bit longer so you got that little flap for your button and your buttonhole and i thought what a brilliant idea that is because these just sit just below your natural waist a couple of inches below your natural waist so if you're not a great lover of trousers that don't sit on your your natural waist like a higher waisted trouser then this is an option by doing that so I fancy having a go at doing that on another pair and just to see how they differ but I don't mind this I don't mind this waist it's absolutely fine for me I wouldn't like to go any lower that's for sure uh, I struggle to find something to wear with it actually I've got nothing would you believe in my wardrobe green or anything with like enough green in it to go with them so I found I found this ready to wear blouse um, which is a little bit big for me now. This is I bought this a couple of years ago and I just added my raggy brooch to bring out the green type of thing. The only thing is I don't have anything that's remotely green or anything that would go with these trousers in my wardrobe at the minute. I do have green items, but the like longer smock lengths and things like that. I've got nothing short in the like the shorter top version where you can see off the whole silhouette off the pant. So I need to maybe make a Florence top that type of length. Now I've got some lovely green viscose linen blend staring at me over there. So that would go look gorgeous. And I like a little bit of colour on colour, tone on tone. So I may have to maybe think about doing something like that. But I've got nothing in the short top type of version with greens in it. So that's something to work on. But overall, absolutely love it. Now I'll pop some pictures up of me wearing it in the garden. And just so you can see what it looks like, full length leg. As I say, a really easy, simple make. Now, if you're new to sewing trousers, or if you've never, just, or you've never had a go at sewing trousers, and you feel a little bit intimidated, a little bit daunted, I would say this is a really good beginner easing yourself in to making trousers pattern, because there's nothing technical. The only, it's not even technical. The only technical part of it is adding your invisible zip. But well, that's not technical. It's just make sure you get it in nice and neat. There's nothing technical about it. You just sew up your zip either side you just got to get it in neatly and obviously get it placed but that's not technical that's just take your time 
and you know just go through the process clearly I'm getting better on mine so I'm not perfect I am getting better each time I put an invisible zip in so I still have a little bit of puckering going on in mine but nothing that you would blatantly notice uh, so I am getting better myself too so but that's the ultimate trousers by sew over it using this gorgeous satin fabric now I'll put the link for the fabric in the description box below and also the link for the sewing directory because it is an absolute if you've never been on that website it's an absolutely brilliant resource for all things sewing all things dressmaking there's tutorials there's craft classes nearby it gives you all sewing anything to do with sewing and fabrics and finding if you want if you're looking for something in particular you just go on there and it absolutely amazing so i highly recommend you have a good browse on there and that little bit of elastin that three percent of elastin that's in this fabric definitely gives that little bit of extra ease to it and a little bit more comfort factor as well and it will definitely be another pattern that I will be adding to my to make list again definitely it won't be one that I'll be filing away thinking oh they're nice but I won't make them again I'll definitely have a go at making these pair again I fancy having a go at maybe making some like with some bark cloth or something some vintage bark cloth because they do have that 1950s touch to them style to them so I think mm, it's something like flowery bark cloth may look quite nice in some nice autumnal colours if I can find some. I wonder if I've got any, if I can find an old pair of curtains or something I could uh, upcycle. That might be an idea, but yeah, really, really good pattern to follow. Size wise, as I say, I did size 12, but the pattern covers from size 8 all the way through to size 20, so good size range as well. And I say 1.5 metres of fabric is so all that's needed, so really, really good for maybe going through your fabric stash. And get a pair of trousers out of them and uh, yeah and I'll also pop a little video of me wearing them in the garden so you can see what they look like with me like moving about in them to see what you think of the sateen fabric too So that's today's vlog, the ultimate trousers by Sew Over It and my green, olive green sateen fabric through Hantex and the sewing directory. I'm off to now choose next month's fabric choice and pattern, which is absolutely great fun. I love that part and I'll keep you posted obviously on what I choose. Yeah, thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. I hope I've enlightened you to this pattern. As I say, definitely give it a try if you're a newbie to making trousers. It's not daunting at all. Don't forget to hit the subscribe if you like to follow along with all my sewing makes and my projects and my style. And uh, I shall see you hopefully on my next sewing vlog. But thanks for watching today and as always, please take care and happy sewing.